So now that I've covered transparency and refractive caustics, I want to talk a little bit about reflective caustics. Now, uh, reflective caustics work in much the same way as refractive caustics. What happens is um, if a very bright light hits a surface which is highly reflective but curved, um, the light is going to get bent and refocused, much like it would with a parabolic mirror, for example. Now, um, when it comes to reflective caustics, and direct lighting, just like with refractive caustics, you cannot see the results in preview. Uh, you have to do an F9 render to see what things look like. So what I've done is I've set up this simple scene with a bright spotlight shining on this coffee percolator that has a metallic material blurry reflections and obviously some curving on the surface, especially on these beveled edges here. Now, just as before, I'm going to go to my Global Illumination tab, and I'm just going to enable Direct Caustics and just leave everything at their defaults, and uh, I'm going to do a render to see what things look like. And uh, I'm obviously going to pause the render, but you can see already that the caustics are showing up um, in a way that you couldn't see in preview. And here is the completed render, and you can see the familiar caustic pattern now coming from the reflections. And just as before, it's a little bit blotchy, so we need to clean it up. And by now, you should know how to do that. Uh, in order to clean it up, we're going to add uh, some more photons. So let's add a couple of zeros to this number and do another render. I'm presuming that we're still going to get a little bit of noise because uh, I don't have enough RAM to really increase the overall quality. Um, so we'll probably have to also increase the local photons later on. But for now, let's just increase the total photons. I'll do an F9 render and we can see what it looks like. Now with the render complete, you can see at a glance that the caustic pattern is much uh, more accurate and much sharper. Um, this was slightly blurry, whereas here we've got really nice caustic pattern. Still got a little bit of noise in here, but uh, just as before, I'm essentially at the limits of what my system can do. So what we're going to have to do is to increase the local photons. Now this will reintroduce some blurriness, but essentially it's a compromise that I have to make with the limitations that I have here. So before I do that, I'm just going to quickly draw a render region just to save a little bit of time. I only really need to see the caustic pattern and not the rest of the scene. And now I'm going to return to the scene and uh, let's increase the, uh, the local photons. Let's increase them gradually this time just to see the difference and also to find the, the right compromise between sharpness and cleanliness. So I'm going to fire another render and uh, we'll see what it looks like. And this is the completed render. And if I flick between this and the previous one, you can see the effect is really subtle. In fact, in order to see it, I'm going to have to zoom in. So basically, doubling the local photons has very slightly blurred our results. Um, it's probably not quite clean enough. So once again, I'm going to return to the scene. And uh, let's try 128 and uh, fire another render and see if we're inching towards uh, a better solution. And with the render complete, you can see that this is actually quite a pleasing result now. If I compare it to the render two renders ago, this was probably a bit too grainy, whereas this is pretty nice. I mean, it actually looks pretty much like a, a real caustic pattern. Um, of course, we could still increase the, um, the local photons some more, but at, uh, we're going to reach a point where things are getting too blurry. But just for the purposes of demonstration, I'm going to increase them from 1 to 8 to 5 to 12. So uh, going quite a few steps up and once again let's do a test render and compare the results. And here is the result with 512 uh, local photons and you can see that although it's pretty clean we're starting to lose some of the detail in these streaks. Here the streaks extend out here and we've got a streak here and a streak here. By adding more local photons we've completely lost this streak and this streak is starting to get blurred as are the ends of this streak here. So you can see it becomes a balancing act at this point uh, where you need to juggle the cleanliness of the caustics with the sort of accuracy and detail and obviously the best overall solution is always to fire more global photons as long as you've got enough RAM. But once you reach your limits in terms of RAM, you then need to find the setting that works best for you in terms of local photons, and that's a, a juggling between uh, cleanliness and detail.